Hi everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you all are doing great. This is Pravin Dure from Dialysis University and in today's video we are going to talk about native advertising sources which is going to be really really interesting guys but before we proceed further please please support this channel by hitting the big red subscribe button for this channel just down the video guys as well as the like button for this video only if you like this video guys at the end of the video not now as well as the bell notification so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos as well and so that we can keep creating good content for you all all the time guys i'll be seeing you inside today's video guys let's begin this video is brought to you by landerize.com create highly optimized landing pages in minutes get your 14-day free trial in the description below this video welcome to today's video everybody in today's video we are going to talk about native advertising source so literally we have explained a lot of stuff regarding native advertising in today's uh, in previous videos in our channel right so we have talked about what is actually native ads native ads is actually a paid ad which looks not like an ad we have talked about the types of native ads like for example in feed ads search ads shopping native ads and then we have also talked about social media native ads and we have also talked about why native ads is important because native ads can increase your uh, chance of purchase intent which will increase your conversion rate and native ads also can overcome banner blindness and all this kind of stuff has already been discussed regarding native ads guys but what we never talked about is what is native traffic sources and what type of native advertising sources that people actually use so before i go into that i just want to let you guys know where do you actually get this source so the whole process of native ads is very simple guys you go to a particular affiliate network you take a particular offer and you go ahead and you want to promote this offer so you go to all these native advertising platforms so there's like a lot of native advertising platform for example zero park is one of them redirect.com is one of them then there's like outbrain there's mgid there's tabula there's rave content and each and every one of these particular native advertising platform have their own pros have their own cons as well so you have to go and do uh, do your own due diligence regarding this native ad and you can actually go ahead and see whether all what is actually the pros or cons of all these native advertising platform and why, why you should actually use them so this native advertising platform is where they actually buy traffic so what they're gonna do is they're gonna buy this traffic from certain publishers so uh, if you've seen uh, my videos that I actually do read, I, I sometimes talk about publishers as well as advertisers. So there's like publisher side, there's advertiser side. So publisher side is when you actually own some traffic, you know, you own some traffic, you have good traffic. So you have a website, you want to monetize that traffic, that's publisher. So for advertiser on another hand is what we are normally doing. We go and choose an offer and then we buy traffic for that. So where these native advertising platforms buy the traffic let it be zero park let it be reader.com is via all these publishers okay. so let's say uh some native ads let's say zero park for example all different native advertising platform has their own sources that they use own publishers that use some of them will not actually tell you what type of source they use for example if you go zero park here right uh, zero park has a very different type of native ads which is called in-app ads so they only do this for uh inside an app they give you promotions inside the app so if you actually go ahead and choose all these right you cannot see a section for sources but you can actually see a section for adult filtering and all these kind of stuff but you will not see a so, uh, a section for sources same goes for outbrain same goes for uh, rave content uh, MGID they will not show you what exactly the sources that they are actually using but in certain network they do show you for example redirect.com if you go inside redirect.com right you go to the sections of campaigns let's say so if you go to the campaign section over here once you load uh, we can actually do add new campaign so you can actually see right they do have a source suggestion here so uh let me just show you guys so you see over here right they have a campaign type and redirect.com why they actually show the source is because they do have a real different type of native advertising 
method. So all these platform, like I told you, all these platform has their different pros and cons, right? So uh, like for example, Outbrain, Rave Content, and all these, they usually run normal uh, native ads. Uh, Zero Park runs native ads in app. Redirect.com has few different features. So they do have redirect, uh, direct redirect. They have web native ads, which is a normal native advertising method. And they do have an email native ads as well, where everything is actually going via your email. So let's go to, uh, let's go to the uh, web first. So web first. So uh, sorry, let me just explain a little bit regarding the email as well. So the email is the one I show you just now, right? The email is where uh, you, you subscribe for a newsletter, right? And then there will be native ads within that newsletter. So it will not be considered spam. It really works very well. Guys. I've got to try this before and really works very well. So if you actually go to the native web native, right? You can actually see if there's actually a source section and there's actually a source target here. So you can actually go ahead and add uh, uh, put the add source button. Oops, don't know why. Okay, so uh, target by source, or you can target by category for web native. So let me just target by source. I thought we can actually do this for for native ads. Okay, so uh, sorry, I was being wrong. You can't do this for email native. You can actually do this. Uh, you cannot do this for web native. You can actually do this for email native. Yes, now I'm correct. So. You can actually do this for email native. So if you go email native, right? So if you go to the source target, you can actually see over here wellness.com, media DC, White House, Dosia. All these are where they are actually gonna get the source. That means these are going to be your publishers. And in the publishers, these are where they're gonna buy the traffic from. Like for example, with wellness.com is where they actually going to go ahead and um put your ads on and all this kind of stuff if you select wellness.com and you add wellness.com for example so this is how it works go so coming back to our question so why they actually hide the native ads they do not actually hide the native uh, sources but they would not prefer to show you directly because uh like say let's say zero park is having one native uh, publisher right so the publisher is doing very well so what happens is that some other networks they might go ahead and they want to take zero bucks publisher it, it makes sense right so this kind of stuff is why they actually do not want you to actually see but still you want to see how do you actually see that that's why we call spy tool guys that's why you use Antrax. so Antrax is actually a spy tool we'll we were actually using adiplexity before this but uh due to some reasons we have actually quitted using adiplexity one of the major reasons why we have quitted using adiplexity is also because adiplexity is actually quite expensive compared to Antrax. the features of Antrax is much more higher than adiplexity but adiplexity is much more expensive like 250 dollars per month while Antrax is only like 60 dollars per month guys so so once you are in Antrax, so if you want to use Antrax, actually, the link to Antrax is in the description of this video as well. So you can actually go ahead and take a look at it. So if you want to use Antrax, right, you can actually go to the ad networks, for example. So once you you, you go inside uh, an Antrax, so you can actually go into the ad network. So you can actually see all the ad networks, very famous ones. Uh, AdNow, uh, AdBlade, Google, MGID, Outbrain, Rave Content and all these are there guys so let's go ahead and choose let's say we want to find outbrain's traffic source right so all you got to do is simple guys you got to hit outbrain and then what we're going to do is we're going to sort ad gravity by descending so we want to see what ad was working really really well with admin so this ad was only running for like two months and they had like 11,681 conversion which is crazy guys so this is an ad which was working really really well with outbrain so when you actually take a look at this ad right that is actually a section where we call publisher section so there's like synopsis there's like statistics uh, what's happening uh, synopsis shows you which country it was running and all this kind of stuff So there's like creatives what other creatives these publishers are using and all this kind of stuff Landing page and the most important part we want to focus at is publishers like I told you I told you the difference between publisher and advertiser right publishers are the one it's actually a correlated relationship so you can't have an advertiser without a publisher you can't have publishers without advertisers so 
when you go to the publisher section you scroll down you can actually see all the websites outbrain is using to publish moneycontrol.com nigeria.organize uh, origin pretty.com you can literally copy this right you can actually go ahead and paste it here you can actually take a look at their website and you can actually take a look at where they're actually running their ads how your ads will look like all this can be done but this is the ones that which are having a, a high percentage of traffic uh how many duration it was running what is the alexa rating and all this kind of stuff guys so you can actually see uh more advertisers on uh, money control as well so what other advertisers are using and all this kind of stuff guys so this is how you go ahead and check each and every traffic source that you want to use so you can do this for other traffic network as well let's say we want to use this for mgid for example so you go ahead and hit mgid you go to the sort by ad gravity descending and then once you sort by ad gravity descending you can actually see this right this is mgid offer i think i know what the offer is this this is actually a bitcoin offer if i'm not mistaken so daily profit offer okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go to publishers we're going to check out which publisher mgid is running a lot on so the biggest percentage of traffic for mgid comes from gogoanime.io so same thing guys you can actually go ahead and check out this gogoanime.io you can actually see it's an anime website and you can see where the advertisements would actually be and all these kind of stuffs you know so look at that this this is where the advertisement is being so maybe if you click on something maybe i don't know the advertisement should be somewhere here promoted content here this is actually where the native ads is actually being in so you can actually see how it works and then you can actually see what publisher it's very important to know the publisher right personally i think it's very important because you will know how your ad is going to be shown within that publisher so roughly you will have an understanding of where your ads will go what publisher it will be choose but keep in mind that each and every different ad network will have their own publisher so basically that's about it from today's video guys i really hope that you enjoyed today's video i really hope that today's video was beneficial for you on understanding what is native advertising traffic sources as well so uh, if you want to join the Anthrax, I have actually uh, attached the link to Anthrax in the description below. And we have also attached the link to Dice University Forum, which is a community where affiliate marketers come from all over the world to gather and build a beautiful community, help each other and grow together. Guys. So before I go, I just want to ask a small favor from you. Please, please support this channel by hitting the big red subscribe button for this channel, the like button for this video only if you like this video, as well as the bell notification so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and so that we can keep creating good content for you all the time i'll be seeing you in the next one guys till then tata bye bye